Hey, can we have an open um, day party, like a warming party for your new house? Uh, can we, can no. We, can we all come over to you? No one will be coming over to my new place. <laughs> I closed on my house yesterday. F.H. Riley and then over to Anthony's yes, house thank and chill you. out and relax. Yeah, that's, why right I'm ex- that's why I'm exhausted. Did you pick out which window they're going to crawl in when they break in and rape yeah, in? No, no girl? kidding. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, one's, no one's getting in there. I see what window. <laughs> We got I already I already cased the joint. <laughs> I, Patrice cased the joint through a picture. <laughs> right there, that window. Right that there. window right there. That's his, the one. His eight gar his eight car garage and his fucking big giant door with no knob on it. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you ring? Yeah, he's gonna have a goddamn butler. And it's he's gonna, gonna have be... to marry his girl because it's a fucking. Uh, it's a. It's not. You you can rent a house with a girlfriend. You cannot buy a house and people come over and go, "Hey, how you doing? This is my girlfriend up in the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> this is my bitch. <laughs> she said you're a deep shit now. <laughs> you can't have an eight room, an eight bathroom house, and this is my girl. <laughs> my girl. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? That's for like a bachelor pad? Or a... Yeah, so imagine your friends come over, uh-huh. you walk in that big, what I saw, that huge 40,000 feet windows and shit, and you walk in, and there's a woman in there, and you want to go, hi, are you the, are you the lady of the house? Are you, are you the first lady? Or, no, I'm his bitch, walking around this fucking mansion. Cause that's, just, that's how girls gonna be. Your girl's mad cool, but she was cool because she was a renter. <laughs> how the fuck you gonna buy a house, my bitch? Let me tell you, this, she she's already planning when I when I like upgrade to a better apartment. She's like, are you thinking about moving in by yourself? It's like, um, yeah, but. Now you think your girls will be walking around in the master bedroom and the fucking your friends come it's over. It's called the master suite. The master suite. The master suite. And she's your girl. Watch what happens. Watch what the fuck happens. <laughs> you should have rented for the rest of your life, asshole. It's over. <laughs> all that. I, all that. I'm not getting married. Shit. All your horse shit. You're gonna get married, or she's gonna oh, leave shit. you. And he's not. He's not ready for her to oh, just walk God out. Damn. But I tell her to leave, and I tell you, so I'm gonna uh, buy a bitch and hear the echo in my big house. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> Shut the front door, door, door. <laughs> Take care, ho, ho, ho. I'm leaving. And she has two, two fucking bags. You know, you know <laughs> Patrice has a very interesting Holy way shit. to look at women. Wow. What were you saying in the in the back office about your girl? Like we were we were talking oh, about damn. this uh, thing in the post today. Where is it? Where is the thing? Oh, fuck it. And then you had a great angle on it. And then we'll get back to Anthony's house. Uh, in, the, in the New York Post, they have this uh, article in the Pulse section called Photo Sight Strikes Back at oh. Cat Callers. And they got these girls that are maybe sixes. Maybe. Those maybe. two on the front. Six? Stop. I wouldn't even put them over a four. I'm being, I'm being nice. four down from a ten. Yeah, There's no way any sixes. The one looks like a young Melissa Etheridge with a short haircut. She, lo- she looks like Darren Etheridge. <laughs> 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 she looks like Mike Etheridge. She, she stinks. These girls should be happy that this guy's cat and calling. That's what the fuck. My, my girl. But hold on. Up. Hold on. Let me just explain. And, yep. then you, and then you can pop in there, Patrice. So these uh, these two, I guess, started a website to get back at the cat callers. And what they do is they're encouraging women, if you're getting cat called, to take your cell phone and take a picture and then upload it to this website. Not quite perverted justice here, uh, ladies. Right. Oh. They're not quite really capturing. I don't think this is going to jeopardize these guys' Wait. lives. Here's a couple of the excerpts. Uh, open letter to that asshole on St. Mark's Place. <laughs> if you're going to sexually harass someone, try not to do it while you're at work. I think that the sock store deserves more attentive employees. To the single white male, you ladies look like you like to take advantage of a single white male tonight. Um, uh, can I take your picture instead? So there's a oh. whole website. All right, they're all slobs. Oh, my all God. All slobs. Look at that awful crew. Of, this is what I'm saying, man. The, the girls like this ruin it for, like, sexy girls who like who enjoy that. Some women have to enjoy that. These monsters. But why they got a picture of a guy with a cell phone? He's pissed off. 
Hey, why just uh, does it just have to be the girl? Me? This guy looks like a fucking. <laughs> are they, but are they trying to be politically correct with their websites? Mm, they, no. So they have yeah. a guy on there that's all also pissed off at the cat calling. It's for pussies who are who are uh, condoning this, like they're trying to help them out. Like, like if they see a chick who might not have a camera ready. He yeah. goes, "Hey, I'll be your your Robin Hood baby. Right, I'll be your I'll help your Lance a lot. Here's some black guy, uh, and he's uh, just standing there. I guess they got a picture of him. The scene, uh, some girl, I guess, is saying this: me walking down Broadway between 178th and 179th Street on a 60 degree day in February, enjoying my lunch break. Mister Man is heading my way with his buddy. He gives me an exaggerated look up and down." Mr. Man, that's Yo, what baby. we're supposed to do. Nature taught that. To they're, us. They're, they're hoping that these are guys with girlfriends too. That's their yeah. whole point. Single guys, what difference yeah. does this make? They want to get guys fired, they, for, like whatever, and they, wanna they guys, want to get guys. They want to get guys divorced and all yeah, that. Yeah, fuck it's in our nature to look at you, ladies. Cock block. And this and, is and, them, and, uh, and the ladies are looking at us. And too. I say the same thing to what? seventy-five bitches a day. Hey, 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 booger bear. <laughs> I just say it. It's it's a numbers game with us. You got to. Hey, sweetie cheeks. Here's honey oh, nipples. Listen to this. Though. Here's the difference. Uh, look how this scenario played out. Uh, Mr. Man, yo, baby, you're gorgeous. Hold I, I, I want to hit on. that. Hold on. E-Rock will play the woman because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, a little okay. dialogue that they uh, got on the website. All right. You're playing the part of me. <laughs> it says M-E. Uh, Mr. Man. Yo, baby, you're gorgeous. I want to hit that. Mmm. No, I, I thought you were going to leave that out. <laughs> no. Mmm. Sir, can I take your picture? Why do you want to take my picture? Because I'm taking pictures of everyone who thinks I'm pretty today. Girl, you could take my picture every day. And then it says, the weirdest part was as soon as I started talking to him, I could sense that he wasn't a kidnapper, rapist, or even really ass a real asshole. Uh, he was just a confused guy with absolutely no lady skills. Uh, still, if I hadn't turned around for the hollaback, I would have walked on feeling a little shaken and self-conscious. Uh, conscious. How am I supposed to know which are the nice guys and which just don't get it? Don't As get what? Hollaback one, Mr. Man zero. Play better next time, Emily. Emily. Hey, what's up, baby? Can I finger pop you or rape you? <laughs> One of the two? But that's what you're going to get, is just guy commenting like that. Well, holla back. New York City empowers New Yorkers to holla back at street harassers. This oh. is the explanation of the website here. Whether you're commuting, lunching, partying, dancing, walking, chilling, drinking, or sunning, you have the right to feel safe, confident, and sexy. Without being the object of someone's fantasy. So but stop walking can't... on and holla back. Send us pics, uh, pics of street harassers. You can't feel sexy unless somebody's harassing you. Women don't have to. How can they feel? They don't even know what they feel about themselves until we fucking let them know. Here's what these guys are doing, too. Look at all the pictures. They're posing for the pictures. Mm -hmm. The girls are saying, hey, can I take your picture? And they go, yeah. That's entrapment. And they just take the picture, and they're smiling and having a good time because guys don't care. See how little skills women need to have to do shit? Mm -hmm. Even to set a guy up for their fucking website. Like, guys, we would we would be thinking all kind of amazing ways to take a picture of a bitch. Yeah. And she don't know. Right. You know, it's always going to be her looking in the skyline or fucking fixing his dress or something. Yeah. But uh, them, them and us, knowing how fuck, this should tell you how stupid this website is, uh -huh. is by how easy we're fucking ready to be an to, asshole. To take pictures. Exactly. To get a picture taken. Did you see the one with the uh, dirty old men? Yes. These fucking guys, they're way up there in years. They just want to look at a piece of ass as they're walking These down. These are 70 year old men walking with down canes. the sidewalk. They look like they just uh, got off a plane from London. Yeah, they got that's that how London, they're dressed. They got that London look to them, and all they're doing is walking down the sidewalk, uh, checking it out, right? With canes. And this chick, Asia, uh, couldn't deal with it, so she uh, sent in this story in the picture. As I'm walking down Broadway, the man on the left hisses, Nice! I ignore him. When again I hear, Nice! I turn around to see if this old dude actually has the nerve to harass me. He lifts his cane. Points it up and down my body, and with raised eyebrows, repeats, "Nice." <laughs> sure wasn't Norton. Apparently, like his line. <laughs> Apparently, nice. for these two, wisdom doesn't come with age. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be it. joking me, man. They, somebody, something gotta be done about that shit, man. And there's their pictures. Could you see going down the street? I want a guy to walk down the street and walk up to a woman and go, "Hey, can I take your picture?" They'd go, "Ah!" 
Yeah, exactly. They'd be screaming, running away. The but. amount of skill it doesn't take to have this website. Because they could do it to anybody. That, that's, yeah. See, this is the type of shit. But like I said, it, it, it's the thing that makes life even. Mm -hmm. It's like the fact that girls can just do this so easy. Yeah. Is it, she walks up the street, and she could just not look. You could look like a motherfucker that took her purse six years ago. And she just goes, can I take your picture? Oh, okay. And just make up a goofy little oh, a story. Okay. You, know, you think this is all fucking legitimate? You got it. it, it can I take your picture? Yeah. Sure, baby. Hey. Did you get that, or you need an, uh, another one? And Did then, the flash go off? Now you're on the internet with, you know. Yeah. That's why I hardly ever try to put my face. Well, there's a lot of internet shit in me now. Like, I let fans mm -hmm. take pictures and shit. What, what are you going to do? I guess it's different if you, whatever, you know. But, yeah. But on the street, dude, you know what I mean? Some chick just decides to get, have that kind of control. Snap a picture, you're on a website. Yeah. You know, uh, for saying hello or nice. That's what we're supposed to say. To slobby girls. Look at the big fat one in the middle here. Uh, that is, she's Who she's is horrendous. She? Who is she? And it's a guy. Who's the guy? And they're all mad. Yeah, they're all <sighs> angry with their arms outstretched with the camera phone. Fucking my girlfriend. My pictures. girlfriend comes over my house, and there's a Puerto Rican dude that tries to. He, he damn near tries to rape her every time she comes in the house. <laughs> and she comes. He, he's, he's bothering. I'm like, bitch, if the day he doesn't try to rape you when he comes, is the day I leave you. <laughs> yeah. So pull your bootstraps up, bitch. This, this is what he's supposed to be doing. Ah, I don't want my girl being safe. Oh, shit. <laughs> Patrice just keeps his women in line, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking even set up an obstacle course yeah, like, <laughs> to make sure she's worthy. Like, did he rape you? Well, he's not going to rape you, but he's going to harass you, bitch. You what? You need to be harassed. <laughs> I don't want no bi harassless bitch in my life. So, the, <laughs> so this website has a lot of stories of guys that are just doing what guys are supposed to do. Yeah. And these girls are not liking it, and they are, they're taking the pictures and sending them into this website. It's a numbers game, Obi. I mean, not not for you. You know, you're in love and whatever. You know, you fucking faithful. But it's like it's it's usually a numbers game. To motherfuckers who out there getting girls, you know, it's a you you try to get as many. We don't like quality. We like quantity up until a point to you to you sif siphon through the to the um, amount of women. Mm -hmm. You find that one that you go, okay, this could be, I can hang out with her. I'll give her a little time and some some attention. Right. But other than that, man, if if any woman out there meets a guy and he says, oh, I'm I'm single, he's not single. He has at least thirty bitches. <laughs> That is around. Like if I, I told my girls, like if you left me, I you it's it's an, the the amount is amount of women that you that you represent. If my girl left me, I'd be hurt, but I I wouldn't be I wouldn't be totally out there. What I would do is I would I think my girl in my life is worth five bitches now, and if she left me. I'd, ta I'd take her spot with five bitches. She's it don't matter spot. who they are. That's the exchange rate That's the on exchange your girl. exchange rate on my girl. She has built up to at least five women, man. Wow. Five. And why does she, why does she uh, stay with you? I'm a good man. I'm a good man. As much shit as I talk, I'm a good man. But I don't, I don't you know, we had a big argument the other day. I was like, look, let's, let's just break up for like a few weeks. Cause she thinks she knows. <laughs> Look at you. Wow. Few weeks. Well, cause she thinks she knows where the sky is now. Like, uh -uh. Th what women do is they get sick of you. They got two halves of their brain. They got one half that goes, you know, I love him so much. Anthony's beautiful. And it's the other side that goes, fuck that nigga. He ain't shit. I'm a better motherfucker than him. So there, there's always that war. So basically, there's a time like I'm sure you tell your girl things like you. Tr she's younger than you, so you there's things that you know. Like if you're if you're 12 years older than your woman, right, and you're trying mm -hmm. to talk to her, and she's like, I know, I know. It's like, well, hold up, bitch. So if you're 24 years old, can a 12-year-old person say to you, I know, I know. You're 12 years younger than me if you're if you're 12 years younger than me, bitch. My girl's not that young. She's like four years younger than me. But I got four years more wisdom than her. She's never been in a good relationship. She's fucking goofy. When is she going to... She only thinks she knows shit because I tell her shit. So now she thinks she knows shit. Like, I know. I know where the sky is. I know how to walk now, motherfucker. Who needs you? I go, okay, sweetie. Go out there and walk and find the sky without me. Please do. And then come back. I'm not going nowhere. You, I love you. But I'm trying to teach you how to be liked. Wow. It's easy to love them. It's you, hard to like them. You are rough, man. But but she'll tell, I don't treat her like I, she tr gets treated very well. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that at all. I know how to be in relationships. But, but that being treated well 
is on such a fine line. Like, she could fall off of that being treated well. You, Easy! You let her, like, you, you let her be treated well. You treat her well. But it's a tightrope walk. No, nah, she's not on eggshells, man. That's no? Like, no, nah, she's just... When you tell a bitch... Why don't we break up? You leave. This ain't fucking bothering me. You you think you know no, to go it, it, see the world it would and come back? Anthony. I'd be crushed, but I'd be crushed in in, a, five in, in, a, in a reasonable sense. I would have to take her place. She has filled up my body five bitches worth. Five bitches worth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, give me five bitches worth. <laughs> Trade her in. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hot bitch from Whack Bag. Patrice, you're such a fucking caveman. Your, pearl, your poor girlfriend must have the worst self-esteem to be with uh, your Fred Flintstone ass. It, why wow. is that Fred Flintstone? Because, look, I'm telling you, Anthony, what's going to happen uh, when you get this house. Right. She's going to want to marry you. And you're going to have to put yourself... In a in a position to either take a loss or uh -huh. get married, it's gonna happen. See, I, don't, I don't see this coming. It, <laughs> you can't be a girlfriend in a mansion see, unless I, there's other girlfriends. <laughs> see, you can't. You you either got to be married in a mansion or uh -huh. have thirty bitches walking around naked. Like half. <laughs> you can't have one girlfriend yeah. in a mansion. <laughs> you can't do it, nigga. I love his logic. <laughs> One girl walking around. Hi, I'm your girlfriend. Hi, Mr. Kumia. I'm Mrs. Smith, your girlfriend in the master bedroom. She, cause she's gonna be in there. She's gonna be like, oh my god, this motherfucker can just throw me out. So it's either uh, a oh, wife shoot. or a harem. A, a wife or a lot of hoes.